You think you know about relationships, but you're wrong. Listen, there's no magic bullet. I'm teaching life skills. When you sick, you need medicine. It don't always taste good. Nah. But it'll get you better. You, you, you need this medicine. Yeah. It ain't gonna always taste good. But this is what you need. Men and women, bottom line, we need to have the conversation. Your partner wants to give up control, but only if you know how to drive. This is about being the best you you could ever be, whoever you are. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, LGBTQ, space alien. I'll save anybody. I don't care. I'll teach a hedgehog how to have a threesome. What do you mean by that? Look, you don't have to listen to me, but you're wrong. Listen, I know I'm great. And I know you're thinking, Dante, there's no way I could be like you. But you could be me, you know why? Because you know who I was? Before I was me, I was you. you. Man score, 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. GYBB, WWDD, What Would Dante Do? The Sexual Revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited. Harry, you ready to rock and roll? We got a special show tonight. I know I've said that 100, 400 times before, but this time I mean it. <laughs> I'm doing good, Dante. I'm out in Cali still getting the uh, camp. Here's what I found out out here, even on the West Coast, is I'm having a tough time keeping those gators down, man. It is difficult. It is difficult. Dre, you ready to rock and roll? You look high as shit. Yeah, buddy, I'm ready. Oh, God. Is it just, guy, is it he's just, so cute. <laughs> is it Shut just up. when we record the podcast, Andre, or is this always now? Because always you, now. He's not missed the show. Now. Don't they know me a little better? <laughs> always. He's always high now. I should have never turned. We'll get into that. Anyway, I want to I want to uh, introduce my guest. He's a good friend of mine. I love her to death. Comedy Central, all kinds of shit. I'm That's not even what going you give me for a fucking intro. Comedy Central. <laughs> Comedy Central. Like, Letterman. No, uh, I never did Letterman. HBO. <laughs> uh, nobody the cares. Show, uh, the Late Ooh. Show with Stephen Colbert. Fuck Comedy Central. Go ahead. Okay. All right, man. Did I hit a, a nerve? <laughs> what the fuck? Give it Comedy up for Central Jude. told me I was too old, like, like uh, 10 years ago. Yeah. Wow. All right. Yeah. Well, fuck them. Fuck them. Yeah, fuck them. Uh, I heard a bunch of them got fired, too. Right? I know. Everyone. I, everyone. Oh, mm -hmm. that's so bad. Um, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm. I want a gold microphone. Where'd you get that? Uh, I'll, I'll send you the link. It's How a many fucking higher. links are you gonna send me? <laughs> How many things did you ask me for? Just wow. I want the I want the marijuana tea link and I want the uh, the gold, gold microphone because I'm right. Judy Gold, so you know. I know that. Give it up yeah. for Judy Gold, y'all. Give yeah. it up for Thank Judy you. Gold. Thank you. Uh, uh, uh. What's up, Judy? How you doing, baby? Good. I'm good. Everything's great. Um. Really, the country's doing really well. <laughs> um, I can't. I'm. I have so many fucking gigs. I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> did how did didn't you do a gig by the big tree for stand up New York? No, <laughs> I know. I was supposed to go do that, and I had this essay that you told me I and I had to write something, and then. And then it was Dante time. So I, I feel like you you write essays in all caps all the time. Like you <laughs> well, always... I just I just text fight with my girlfriend and all that. Do you fight uh, on? Do you fight with your wife? On, no. On... No, we don't fight at all. You're full of shit. Listen, Judy, <laughs> you're a lot. You know that, right? You are Duh. a lot. Yeah, I am a lot. <laughs> <'Cause>... <laughs> I mean, that you can't have two Judy, and you, your girlfriend's real calm, right? Oh my! Are you fucking kidding me? In front of other people, she is. Wait, yeah. I, is this a this is a new one? Let me tell. Thirteen years. Oh, okay. Let me tell you something. It's never the one you think is the problem. You know, I know. what? I know. Yeah. I know, but so you're saying that everybody yeah, but, thinks you're the problem? <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, oh, I don't know how you deal with Judy. I don't know, how and it's like, oh my god, shut the fuck up. But you know, I know you guys talk about all your misogynistic, you know. How no, to we don't. Yes, so we do. I don't fucking care. I don't care. But here's the deal. 
Be, I have to agree with you because I'm a lesbian <laughs> and being in a relationship with a woman is so fucking annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we got some backup, some you, cooperation. We got some backup. We got some <laughs> LGBTQ yeah. backup. That's Thank right, you. bitches. Well, here's the thing, here's the thing, Judy. We have evolved, I, well, I, we've evolved since uh, back in the days. And one of the things I realized is because I've had uh, gay and lesbian and trans people on the show. And what I realized is not so much um, gender, it's more dominant and submissive. You know what I mean? What are what you, you talking making a about? I'm <laughs> saying, so in every relationship, you have the dominant and then yeah, you have the there's a ro- Here's the thing. You have like role play, you know, traditional gender roles in right. a lot of hetero relationships. Right. The problem with the gay and the lesbian, I'm not talking about trans and all that stuff. I'm talking about gay and lesby relationships. Is right. that there aren't specific gender roles unless you have like, there's, do you ever see like lesbos where there's one really butch one and one really femme one? Yes, Those are yes. specific gender roles for, for lesbians. You know right. what I mean? Yeah, but even if it's not even if it's not really like lipstick and and like really butch, do you, you still but look in heterosexual relationships, you, you got guys that are pussies I and know. you got women that right. are right. So, so so it's not but, but they they have done studies and gay relationships where they have like specific gender roles tend to do better like where really you know, one takes the more masculine role and one takes the more feminine role so that's why my relationship we're both kind of like like i you know look i'm i'm done wearing makeup i'm fucking but you know i'm like femi and butchy i'm combo yeah. i'm a combo right right, platter, right. but you know? you're, you're definitely m- more butchy than you are femi though what your demeanor. You think I'm more butchy than Femi? Your de- your demeanor, yes. Fuck yeah. But there's two different a, aspects of you it. You called me a faggot yesterday, twice. <laughs> well, I'm just I'm a truth teller. <laughs> <laughs> the, no, what I mean, but even in, even in heterosexual relationships, when you have like these clearly kind of like real feminine men and you have when it's you know it's too close it's it's you know it ends up kind of fucked up anyway so right. even in, it, so what i i understand what you're saying but i'm I all mean, i'm saying I know, I know women like business women who are like the money maker executive you know and then their husbands are like stay at home daddy you know, yeah. that, they're, I mean, I don't know a lot of them. Yeah, but, but yeah. I don't even I don't even know if that's really the masculine or the, or, or the dominant or the feminine. I, what I mean well, is, it dep- in, yeah, it depends on how you define. Well, you I'm, know, I'm just saying you you have a situation where you have the person that's more dominant in the relationship right. and the other person that goes, oh, whatever, whatever you want to do. Right. You know right, what I mean? Right. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, in, in, as opposed to where I used to look at it as very, I mean, for lack of a better term, we used to use masculine and feminine, but I don't really see that yeah, anymore. You could say dominant and yeah, I, I get it. Yeah. All right, so thanks. It. Thanks for agreeing with me after six minutes. I said <laughs> that in the first. Fuck up. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Maybe if you were clear. <laughs> I said the but, same thing six times. Shut up. Where are your <laughs> eyebrows? Is, Where is, are your eyebrows? I don't have eyebrows. <laughs> it's disrespectful. I, know, I just, the, here's the, the thing. Like, sexual you don't tension have, you, in this room right now. Cannot, I'm telling you, you could I wanna, cut it with I a wanna, knife. I want to hey, climb Dante. that glass of water. I want to climb That's that right, glass. Baby. <laughs> Listen, Dante. Yes. How come you have facial hair, but you don't have eyebrows? That is what I don't I, understand. Well, I'm also kind of tan right now, but my eyebrows are always kind of light, even when they... even. But when, they're there. On. There's hair there. Yeah, it is. Uh, hold on. Mm, <laughs> you got to get really... Mm. Okay, Damn, I see him. I see him. I see him. I see him. All right. They're light, though. <laughs> I was thinking about getting the microbladed. <laughs> yeah. So I can have eyebrows. You see that? Watch again. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Or you could do, you could do what my mom and most Latina moms do, which is get them tattooed in, which is very yeah. I know oh, people are tattooing their eyebrows, and then a lot of people don't like when they go get their hair dyed, they dye their eyebrows too. 
Yeah, they got this thing called microblading, which is kind of like tattoos, but they do these little cuts and they make it. Oh, it's yeah, like hair. they go like, hey, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, but, well, I mean, I don't know. But, um, I, but it, so that's what I was telling you when you're, I, we don't really do the massage, you know, we don't do the masculine, feminine. It's dominant and submissive. And even if it is, even if the guy is super submissive, it's, you know, it's more about the respect that he demands or or basically his personal self-worth that it so if he doesn't right but if a guy gets self-worth from like dominating a woman then there's something no that's that's not what i mean an asshole i know i'm just yeah that's what i mean is if you have self-worth is if you're pursuing your own dreams and your happiness and you're being the best version of yourself right and not being submissive to like when a woman is like uh you know like I don't, you didn't watch Mrs. America where Phyllis Shafley was like, you know, women should be in the home and I love my work in the kitchen. Meanwhile, she's out like not doing that, but, right. but, but, but fighting for women to be able to do that. I mean, if you get all of your self-esteem and satisfaction from like, you know, what? taking care of your husband and. To, then yeah i can't be friends with you but i don't know it's just <laughs> for me that's there's so much more to life you know what i mean but well, Dante, look, I, go ahead also um something i've just kind of i've been kind of learning over the last like couple of years uh, in gay relationships the aesthetic also has a different demeanor than the internal meaning like a person could look on very outside. on yeah. the outside aesthetically could be very butch or very masculine, depending on gay right. uh, and then man or woman. Right, and they're submissive, yeah. Or even just their demeanor is submissive, like on a right. date. I was watching this uh, show that someone turned me on to called Dating Around on Netflix, which is these, these people go on one on five dates. The one person uh. goes on five different dates, and they keep cutting in and out. And what you find with like the gay couples is the, there's a whole other interesting dynamic that someone might appear to be masculine, and then if you're also masculine, they're not a match. Right. Meaning like, and so right. you have to, that's a whole other thing you got to figure out in addition right, right. to just, but even when type. you, even when you find them that they look masculine, yeah, or, or they appear to be masculine doesn't mean that they're masculine. It's, right. It's, uh, it's that the guy is the might, the guy might be more masculine than the other one. I mean, right. but you see that in, you know, you, that's, it's about that's what, power. It's power structure. Yes. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's dominant and submissive. Yeah. I mean, I should use that as a theory. That it's not really gender specific; it's dominant and submissive. Yeah, Next but, time you, I, but people <laughs> equate dominance with masculinity and right, submissiveness but, with femininity. But we, but we have to change everything in terms of the way that we look at things because everything right. has been so sex, uh, sexist, and racist right, right, and right, anti-Semitic, right. and so and so you you, you, you have to take yeah. yeah huh. um, I mean, look. Uh, you know, like I told you before, I was nine years old and I had the first talk about how you have to deal with police officers so you don't get killed. I was, the and worst. there's the not, worst. How old were you, Dre, when you got early. the talk? I don't remember. Three? Three? <laughs> like, three? Early. Like, as far as I really? remember, I was like, yo, shit might go down. Have your ID on you. Don't don't talk this way. When you, when you see a cop, this is how you behave. So, like, my earliest memory of that type of interaction was early because I was like, you know, going home by myself, walking yeah, home. Yeah, yeah, he was a latch key. You know, it's so funny because yeah. what I think about, you know, my parents, they were older when they had me and um, they really, from the beginning, were like, everyone hates Jews. Like, you, we are the most hated, you know, like, and it was constant, you know. Right. The Holocaust, because it wasn't that, I was born in 62, so the Holocaust right. ended in 45. I mean, it wasn't right. even that, you know. Right. But, just because, but they brought that, that was a, a very big theme in our house that right. everyone hates us. We are hated. Mm-hmm. They can act like they like you, but the minute you leave the room, they're going to, you know, and I never, I was like, you're crazy. And it's, yeah. it's true. But you know, it's not, but do you the think, you, do you think that black, ra- black people don't hate Jews though? Oh my, I, there are a lot of black people who probably, no, I don't know. I, I mean, but those are, but I'm saying as an overall thing, that's not a that's not like a thing, you know. No, like you, I mean, if you think about who was killed in Alabama, there were two Jews. I mean, we started right. the NAACP. Like, I right. feel like we need to band together oh, because we are the smartest. 
We are the most um, creative. Talented, creative. We we contribute the most to the world at large. You know, like as far as everything is concerned in the arts and culture, science, um, and sports. Uh, well, you know what? To the thing, what's interesting about that is like the 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 it, the Muslim Renaissance period is probably the one of the greatest renaissance periods in the history right. of anybody right. all you know the, the mathematics all the naming of the stars and stuff but when they became a theocracy when when the muslims became a theocracy is when all of that went to shit and right. now you have you literally have guys talking to me i mean you can find videos of of uh islamic teachers talking about flat earth and all kinds right, of right, crazy right, right. shit now but that that that's a but if you think about it even that was the case with the with the catholic church the catholic church when it be when they when they started to gain control and you end up with a theocracy the first thing is to 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 circumvent intelligence to dumb it down and to keep to keep right the truth right right, away right. From people so All right, of course the how is that they are but 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 i have to say you know like i this what's happening now in this country yeah is i can't first of all i can't believe it took so fucking long um yeah. and thank god for the cell phones yeah but the cameras but Double like i said camera. to you yesterday you bring people here against their will right and they're not even considered an entire person and yet they build the country they build the country they build yeah. the white house they build this country and yeah. then you just toss fuck you fuck you fuck you and fuck you i mean there's a well, lot it's of inter it's interesting but, there's, there, but there are immigrants who came here sure. willingly, willingly to get away from persecution, to get, a, right. you know, like, um, but when you are brought here um, against your will, slaves yeah. against your will, I yeah. mean, you think that's not the basis for all of this of course racism? This, is, this is the this is the chickens coming home on the right. roost but you have to you have to always you have to dehumanize people in order to get that like you know i you know people were talking about the riots and stuff and everybody all oh, the riots the riots the riots and uh i i had a guy at my at my job he was like yeah the riots are crazy and i go i said well why aren't you rioting and right. he goes, why? What do you mean? I go, well, you know, why don't you go out two o'clock in the morning and go get some shit? And he goes, I got to go to work. I go, exactly. You have right. a job. You have a home. You have a right. boat. You have a jet ski. So you're not willing to. So how fucked up does it have to be for you as a young black man to go? I know I can end up dead by by looting. Right. I know I can end up at least hurt. And if not, I can lose my freedom for a Louis Vuitton belt or a Yankee hat, like you have to feel that your life is so desperate to even right, think but it's that also, that's... Right, but there's also, you know, Stonewall was a riot. That was sure. a riot. Sure. You know, sometimes you get to the point where we've tried everything. We fucking right. tried everything. Yeah. Um, Rioting and, and looting are two separate yeah, sort of yeah. things. I, I mean, they're part of the same lo thing. Looting yeah. is different. I think looting yeah. is different yeah, than but rioting. It, they kind and of you know what? I saw plenty of videos with white guys sure, dressed sure. up. Sure. Sure. I don't even sure. trust... No, you know, no. half but, of the shit. Yeah. But you got to you you know, when we you talk about the civil rights movement, you know, people always talk about the nonviolence, the nonviolence. And they don't understand that the real reason why the civil rights movement made so many so many was because of the riots. You had 11 major urban cities that were on fire. And right. and when the, there's a you know, so let's say you have people at every stage say, say you have people that are looting say you have people that right. are rioting you say you right. have people that are protesting say you have people that support it but they're not willing to take the risk say you have right. people who are against it who are home and just say this is bullshit what happens is because of the rioting and the cities being on fire those people don't go to work so right you don't go to work the, the, the financial machine stops and the and the, the one percent the billionaires can't make money and so right which is also why 
you know, people are available to protest now. Right, right, absolutely. We, we have no Everybody fucking out jobs. Of work. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's it's sitting home watching this. Right. But, yeah. but, but Martin Luther King put, he put the Freedom Riders in harm's way on purpose. He knew they trained, he trained them, so he knew that they were going to get beat up. But the thing was, he, he knew also that the, that the, the system would, would broadcast that on television. So what right. he did was he put them in harm's way and then you broadcast. And I, I use the analogy like this. If you hate cats, right, and somebody's kicking a cat, you might let them kick the cat once or twice. But the fourth or the fifth cat time you kick the cat, somebody's going, look, look, I don't like Enough. cats either, but stop yeah. fucking kicking the cats. And that right. was the genius part of it, that Kennedy had uh, Martin, Luther, Martin Luther King come to the White House and say, how can we stop these riots and get people back to work? Right, that but was you the also problem. didn't have a thousand networks and these uh, fucking yeah. lying pieces of shit networks right. like OANN and the fucking Fox News and whatever the I fuck. I feel like, did you, did you, did you check it out? Because we went yesterday, I I, Harry, I, I, Harry, we, I called her last night, right? right. She's yelling at the TV, right? <laughs> yelling sounds, at the That fuck sounds on list. brand for Judy. <laughs> that sounds exactly like how I'd expect Judy. <laughs> She's screaming at, and I go, listen, such and such and such, this is interesting. I said, turn to MSNBC. She, she goes, oh, I can't, I can't fuck with Chris Hayes. He doesn't wear a tie. I go, <laughs> all right. So, that's Ju Judy, that's such a Jewish thing. A man's know, on TV, right? he should have a tie on. I just hate it. He's got his shirt on open it's like just put the tie on like women have to look so beautiful yeah they have to have perfect arms Fake and eyebrows. beautiful thing and makeup put on a fucking tie <laughs> but, and i'm like julie you know the world is burning it's on I fire know. and I then wait. she's I worried about the fucking mother. Shut yeah. the fuck up. no excuse not to dress up the world right. may be you know would it kill yeah. you to wear a tie? <laughs> then she screamed. Were you screaming at Henry or Ben yesterday? Who were you screaming at? Ben, was I yelling at? at you? No, Henry wasn't of here course. yesterday. So I was yelling ben, at ben. He, she's yelling at Ben because Ben wanted to go to the store and borrow the car. She's screaming at him. And then she goes, I don't want you to go. But I'm, I want Wait, to Wait, what did I scream at you yeah. about last night? <laughs> Where's Ben? Ben, ben come on right the camera. Here. Wait, I'm taking come it out. Ben. <laughs> ben. What was she? I was on the phone when she was screaming at you uh, because you wanted to use the car, and she was like, "You better wear a mask and you wash your hands." And oh no! Oh, you know what he did? You know so what he on? fucking did? I'm on the phone. I'm talking to you. Uh, you're on speaker, and I'm like, we're having this very intense <laughs> conversation. He literally takes my phone out of my hand. I go, "What?" He goes, and he starts crying <laughs> on the phone, and then he gives it back to me, and I look at the phone, and it says. Your driver, Shanaka Babla, is here. <laughs> and I'm like, you fucking took my phone and ordered a car to go fuck the box? It wasn't a block. It was. What was it? So. I don't care. You can go to 100. You can walk to 125. <laughs> He's playing basketball for Tulane. I know. I know. I was. Ooh. I was there for the thing for your show, Ben. All oh, right. Yeah, remember I mean, you? Sure. Remember you told me to come. I'm sure you guys have never heard her say that before. Right. No, <laughs> not the first time. I don't know, you guys. I'm tall. I don't know if she told Shut you that. Shut up, baby. You <laughs> without me. Nothing. <laughs> so it's yeah, nice to see it, you're, you're doing well during the uh, quarantine, <laughs> Judy. Everything is uh, very calm and collective. You're you meditating, know, I, I see. I was, um, I was in Providence. I have a house in Provincetown in Massachusetts, right? Oh, nice. Uh, I bought it in 94 when I was on a sitcom, and that was the best thing I ever did. Anyway, I've lived off that house. Anyway, huh. so I'm back in New York this week because it's Ben's last week. And, uh, <laughs> you know, when I'm in Provincetown, I play tennis. I'm out. I go to the ocean. I go swimming. I literally, in New York, sit in my apartment. Like, I, I'll go. I went out to vote today. But, uh, like, it's so easy to just wake up and sit and in your fucking apartment because nothing's open. I can't go to the gym. But let's be, I was, before before the COVID hit, right, and the quarantine hit, Ben, um, no, Henry came up to me, your other son is Henry, he came up to me, and he goes, look at this, and he shows me this video of you sitting at the end of the bed, just yelling at the TV at the top of your lungs. He goes, this is my mom. 
<laughs> that's what my mommy. And we were like, yeah, that's on brand, right? That's on brand. <laughs> they come in and they're like, turn it off. It's 24-7. <laughs> she, she, was was yelling she, was yelling at she was yelling at Anderson Cooper to clean his glasses. Why is this? <laughs> oh, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, shut the fuck up. Harry, are, yes, you, Judy. are you part any Jew in you? I'm I'm a poor man's Jew. I'm Armenian. I'm a second class. Oh, right. Yeah, you are. Yeah, that's I'm right. a less famous Jew. <laughs> I'm Hungarian. We're the oh, shit. Not. We're the shit bottom of the fucking barrel. Half Hungarian, half <laughs> oh, Polish. What? Yeah. Hey, wouldn't have thought that at all. You know, not you at know all. in the Jew land, the Hungarians are, you know. That's the way you that was. That's like the gypsies. Yeah, exactly. No, man. Well, you know, what, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, what? Jewish people are gypsies? No, Andre. No, no, no. You okay, missed. Andre, go drink some more tea. Seriously. Some of your wheat tea. <laughs> the, gy the gypsies were also like number one on Hitler's list, too. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. People forget about the homosexuals and gypsies who also yeah. got, uh, they they didn't get a free pass. And black yeah. people was in there, too, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, but there weren't a won, ton in Berlin the, in 1940. Yeah, there weren't a lot in Berlin, but he, yeah. wanted, to ca he wanted to cut all our, cut our dicks off. He wanted to castrate us. Yeah. To like keep him? He was terrific. <laughs> yeah, he was a great guy. He was a great guy. That's you know, why my that's why my father, my father and his brothers, they fought to 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 go to the front line. Cause like, you know, you couldn't if you were black, you couldn't fight right. in the front line of World War II. So they fought. They were protesting and fought, and then they were like, We're gonna be we're gonna show everybody that we're patriots and and we're gonna go fight and then, and then when they came back they fucked them over like you yeah, know like they was already doing right for that that's not a yeah that's you, it's that easy for you part. you just it's easy to say that now but at the time you thought there was this all of this uh there was all of this that propaganda of, later after there was no there was Andre, all of this. with your fucking shirt going in and out your oh, shirt oh, with <laughs> Now you have half of an arm. I can't. By the way, are we just going to gloss over the fact that Andre asked when we said Hitler wanted to cut black people's dicks off? Andre goes to keep them as if like, no, Andre, nobody followed up. You the question of what are you going to do with them? He was doing. He wanted to make tea with them. Yeah, <laughs> he, wanted he, wanted dick tea. It's he wanted to make dick tea. Dick no, they didn't even get out. That's just they wanted to castrate us, and and they wanted to castrate us and make us like eunuchs and stuff. Yeah. And so the my 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 uncles and my dad fought to fight in the World War Two so that they could. There was this whole thing about assimilation. Like if we could just show white people that we that we're, that we're patriots and we're on board and yeah. we we want America, we want to be a part of America. Then they'll then they'll see. That we yeah. we're great guys, and, and it was just, great. It worked out great after that. It worked out yeah, great. Nope. That worked out fantastic. And just right after the, opium right habit. Up, look at this. Right after that, that's when Black Wall Street happened, and in, in, yeah. uh, in Tulsa. So, right after yeah. that, yeah, it was all okay. That, Black that Wall was, Street was before World War Two. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. I believe it was 1921, right? <laughs> Yeah, but they were. Yeah, but you had soldiers in there too that had come back. If you mean if, after World War One, that's a different story, yeah. Dante. World, 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 World War One. Uh, yeah. No worries. They did something else evil. It's not like yeah. they didn't do shit right, after right. the forties. They did yeah. something else. That's true. Right, yeah. yeah. So it, it, it just was yeah. ongoing. <laughs> he should but, just drink tea. I know. Uh, Luckily, after yeah, that, right? though, it was all good. What do you have? After a that, it was all good. Yeah. Get over it. Right. Yeah. Get over it. It was all good. Or yeah, even. I don't. I think that me, and, me and Judy were talking yesterday. I was saying how you know, like, if you feel good that that there's change happening, and you have major corporations are 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 siding with this, and you have the the guy, you know, then you got Bubba, the guy from uh, NASCAR. from uh, Bubba Watson, NASCAR, and then and then you have people parading around with this is. Yeah, the Confederate flag is my heritage, and yeah, it's your heritage of, of enslaving and raping Losing. and killing black people. They're just so, fucking. I can't believe it. And the NFL should take a lesson from NASCAR. That, that's, yeah. How crazy is that? How crazy is that? Did they offer Cap a, a job yet, or no? No, no, but uh, they, no they should. They were doing tryouts from last year, though. They were doing tryouts Hello. for 2019. Hi. Hi. What time are you coming back? Never. What are we watching? <laughs> are you Never. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did you get my meds? Can Mom you get asked thirty-seven questions? Can you get my meds seconds. at Dwayne Reed? <laughs> 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 they just 
blow me off. Well, it, you know, after a while, it gets to be white noise. Shut Judy. up, <laughs> Judy. What are what are you like as a mom? I want to know what you're like as a mom because I only oh, know Judy the she's comedian. She's a peach. <laughs> like, what am I like? Well, yeah. Um, they just asked what I'm like as a mom. <laughs> How long do you have? Oh, shut up. Right. Smart answer. Um, here's what I think as a mother. Um, well, I don't, I don't hide anything from them. We watch first. All right. I, I think the number one thing I do as a mother is I, both of my kids know that they are the priority over anything else in my That's life. That's true. Like, I, um, I can, I can attest to that as long as yeah. I've known you. I mean, like, Judy, Judy and I also, Judy always kind of liked me. And then when, but when Henry liked me, that was it. As Henry is Henry such liked a good judge of character, but it's like, you know, look, I'm a little crazy. I say inappropriate things. I embarrass that, whatever. But the, I, I would do anything for them. They are, they definitely come first. And, um, you know, like when the nurse called, I'm the one they, you know, they didn't call my ex. The nurse right. would call me when they were sick. Um, I'm sort of like the mommy, but I'm right. a little crazy. But um, I never, I, I let them watch inappropriate things. So you're like, you're the cool, age. you're the cool mom too. You're the cool parent. But, you know, the, the bad part is I'm not good with the punishment. Uh, oh, so yeah, you, you like, cool you love parent. them too much. <laughs> right. And then I yell at the, you know, like I'm too much yelling. I also live in this really. I'm shocked by that. Heart. You too, you, you yell too much. Uh, what? <laughs> so, but it's like, I don't know. I feel like uh, they're both. I mean, ask Dante. They're both like really good kid. Like good people, kids. they have good values. They yeah. are not afraid to talk to anyone. They, um, you know, they're and, very and, and if you yell, if you, you know, if you, if you yell at them, they're not going to wince at all. They are definitely not going to be like, oh, don't yell. <laughs> like, you sometimes know. I wish there was a boundary or two, but I live in this small apartment, and it's, you know, my office is in the fucking living room. Like I have a big desk in the living room. So it's right. like, it's so hard. But so, but Ben is going to college and Henry's moving out. Really? So I'm going to get my office back. But um, oh. yeah, I don't so know. You're setting I up your like fuck they're, pad, they're, Judy? They That's going to be awesome. What? You're setting That's up your so fuck pad? Yeah, I, really. You know, you know me. <laughs> but um, yeah, but I feel like... Uh, I don't know. I think they're proud of me. I don't even know. They are. They are. They are. They are. They are. Because they, whatever they don't tell you, that they, they, Henry tells me. Really? <laughs> yeah. He loves, all the time. Okay. He loves them. He, he loves you too. He loves you to death. You know. They. They both do. But um, you, your, 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 your girlfriend is um. Elisa. She's, yeah, but she's uh, she's a psychiatrist or a psychologist no, or she's therapist. A, L, uh, LCSW, licensed clinical so social worker, but she stopped doing that to run her family's real estate business and has turned into a fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she Why? was so much nicer when she was a therapist, but um, yeah, she, uh, it's, you know, everyone's always like, oh, therapist and comedian, that's such a great combo. No, it's not, because no, it's we not. already hate ourselves. We already hate ourselves. We're too introspective. And then you have someone validating all the shitty things you think about yourself. Yeah. 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 And then and then they, they think they know you better than you know. Oh, you. I know. And everything is has a hidden meaning. Nothing is benign. It's all bullshit. I can't stand it. Yeah, but, it's yeah. like you. But she has a really hot ass. Well, all right. Mm. Fair enough. Dante, I mean, no. I, you're so blurry right now. So so anyway, I ended up putting this proud boy tattoo on my neck. That's what happened. And then I found out that the Proud Boys were this. OK, they, can you they, explain they, a little bit to that for people who don't know that full story, Dante? Because okay. some of the people okay. know about it. All right. It. So I went on the show basically talking about masculinity and how to be a man. And I was talking about Ace, which was an authenticity, credibility and 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 empathy on um, Gavin McGinnis's show. We're Gavin McGinnis's yeah. show. And then the Proud Boys started 
because he was like, we're going to start a group, like a fraternal organization. And it was young white dudes. And, and I was like, I went on in and I started talking about how you got to stop jerking off and watching porn because the first thing it does is it desensitizes you. Second thing it does, it's you, your, your expectations for what you think women are and relations are, are ridiculous. I said, so you, you have to actually talk to people to get to, to, to understand how to socialize. Right. And, and they, they, so we went on this thing where we weren't, uh, was no jerking off, no masturbating, no watching porn. Then okay. the, uh, the whole thing felt when ended up, ended up becoming this group and it became a whole fraternity. The difference was they, you know, they took parts of what I was talking about and they left the other parts out, which was the whole idea of empathy. And then it became this white supremacist group. There was a Facebook page. I went on the Facebook page and there was like nigger cartoons and nigger this and nigger that and all kinds of shit. And then they became Trump supporters. As soon as they became Trump, so this was like probably when before Trump even ran, like 2015, I started distancing myself. They, this thing grew because there was all these young white dudes who didn't have jobs, didn't have educations. If they did have educations, they had student loans. They were living in their mom's basement. They were jerking off. None of them had no girlfriend or nothing. And they were just, they wanted to. So that it started to be this white supremacy group. I distanced myself. And then once I got, I got interviewed with a This American Life, they they would say, well, they said you're the Pope. And I said, I had already, I'm already moved off from that. I, I've distanced myself. And then they explained to me that the, the Unite the Right thing where Heather Heyer got uh, got killed, right. they, they, they organized the Unite the Right rally. I had a Proud Boy tattoo on my neck and I got it covered. That's why I got it covered. And then when I got it covered, it became a whole theme, but I, I just wanted to get that off me. And that's what ended up happening. But then they, they ended up becoming a terrorist group. I, I got interviewed by the FBI twice because they were infiltrating the group and trying to bring them down because they were in Venezuela trying to overthrow the government in Venezuela. <laughs> so this, this thing literally came and, about... And where, where are they now? He's, There's they chapters get... all over the world. Damn. But didn't... that? A lot of them got arrested for or the Supreme in front of the there, was, there, thing. there was chapters all over the world. That that's it grew because this it, you know the I mean this is the you know what we're talking about now is this whole uh kind of it's cool to go Black Lives Matter, but prior to that, it, this, it wasn't cool. It was cool to be a part of that group. It was cool to be Nazis, and I mean look at the. Look at the resurgence you have of the anti-Semitism in Germany right. and all these and the soccer, you know, with the, the soccer hooligans and all of these guys. Right, and, right. I mean, right. e I mean, I was watching something in, in Berlin where they had a march with something like 30,000 neo new Nazis that they were doing. And, and this was the same guys. And it was like. Uh, the West is the best and the white is right and we created everything and all this crazy shit they were going. Right, and, they, right, right. And, and that's when Gavin, Gavin ended up getting in trouble and the FBI started going after him and they were, you know, he was saying all kinds of racist shit. I mean, basically he was doing the same thing Trump is doing now. The exact right. same thing on a smaller scale. This is angry white guy who's, a, who's so scared that their fucking entitlement and power is it will be taken away. Yeah. Yeah. So fuck you. You fucked yeah. up this. One. We wouldn't be in this situation if it wasn't for fucking asshole white guys. Well, I had. I had. You a, that, Harry? <laughs> Wait, I'm not even white. <laughs> I'm Armenian and Hispanic. So Leave he me out of this. He, he came and did my podcast, right? Why and, you give me uh, the finger, Judy? That's not. <laughs> no, I'm putting on lip gloss. That's not fair. You even look at even, you. See, South that's County. instinctual, Judy. That's muscle memory. Even your lip gloss. Who puts it on with I a middle finger? You, that's from decades of flipping people off at at a at a moment's Shut notice. Up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Judy. The uh, he came. Oh, look who's back. <laughs> yeah. Judy, he came on the show and he was talking all that that uh 
you know, welfare moms and there's a single right. fa black fathers and not taking care of children and blah, 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 blah. And I fucking, like, we had a discussion, like, after the show, and I ripped him a new ad, like, just. And he has kids. Brown kids. No, he doesn't. I think I his wife that. is Native American, I think. No, I didn't know this. Well, yeah, I didn't that. know that. Dude, his kids are brown. That was funny. His I did not brown. know that. Oh, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, it's yeah, ironic. Wife. He's here on a green card, but uh, his wife, Emily Gen Gendrickson, is the daughter of Native American activist Christine White Rabbit Gen Gendrickson. How crazy is that? White Rabbit. How crazy is that? His wife she's is a liberal little, Democrat, too. Yeah, and she's a she's got little brown kids. By the way, I've made here's his 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 quote, by the way, uh, on on his uh, her ethnicity. I've made my views on Indians very clear. Indians. I, I <laughs> like them. I actually like them so much. I made three. There we go. So that's Gavin being a fucking lunatic. Yeah, I hated having him on the show. It wasn't my favorite interview, but he was yeah. out of his fucking mind from the get go. But yeah. that so whole my movie favorite potable is when he said, uh, get herpes is not that bad. No. Yeah, that yeah, was he says, go out, buy a motorcycle, get, uh, herpes, get in a rock band, get anymore. herpes, get herpes, live your life. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Fucking you... asshole. His methodology was saying something so crazy herp, herp. and then following it up with something else crazy. So you didn't have time to fact right. check or think about Tell it. Me he was the early Trump. He's doing exactly what Trump is doing yeah. now. Just but crazy the, after crazy after crazy. But this whole group, the fascinating part about that whole how that all started, that incel movement, these guys who just they're they're they don't have the skills or there's there's something defective about them from the very beginning. <laughs> and then they channel it. The there is, there has is to a, be. It's a level of it's a level of entitlement when you haven't earned anything. And so right. if you're if you're black, if you're Jewish, if you're you you're immigrants, you know you gotta come here and you gotta work. You gotta do and you gotta right. and you better be better than no than, than the and, and we're the most patriotic out of all oh, of oh, yeah. us, you know? Of course. We appreciate what what the good that we have here in this mother well they don't, nobody right. wants to take a knee for a flag but they're walking around with flags on right. their on their trump hats and it's elite it's 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 a it's a this it's what it is it against the code. Desecration. Desecration of the yeah. flag so it's just ridiculous the absurdness and then to think you know and then when you talk about the confederate flag which is a traitorous flag they were trying to succeed from america in the first place and this is the symbol that they use so it's just it's just dumb it really gets to the point where where we're really talking about stupid people and and it's just like what trump says oh i love my i love my uneducated people of course you do because you can tell them that's anything. the only fucking people who are gonna vote for you and the other thing is all his people at his rallies he wouldn't even let them into mar-a-lago okay no, no absolutely not but let's be honest look at look at what's what was the chick that who was talking about um blackface uh the one that got megan uh megan kelly is it megan kelly that said that she doesn't see there's a problem with making a black face and she got kicked off. She got kicked off Fox and then she went to yeah, NBC. Megan and they, Kelly. Megan Kelly. So here's an educated woman. He says Santa Claus is not black either. Yeah. yeah. Apparently she, she, met, she met Santa Claus. Apparently she's the only person <laughs> who really met. But the thing, the, the real thing is, is that that's an educated woman. So how do you... How do you reconcile? I mean, I'm asking you, Judy. How do you, you reconcile? You can be educated and close-minded. It doesn't. Th that's the. That, yeah, you know. but we're we're talking about you. We're talking about stupidity. Like, I mean, if you if you're racist, or anti-Semitic, or any of those things, or you, we 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 there's scientific proof that everybody is there is no white race. There is this, that's a construct. It's a social construct. So if it's a social construct, we know now that DNA through, I mean, they, they just proved it. I mean, they've all, we've always known that, but Clinton put in fall in, in that if there's a, there was a, a, a committee that basically looked at the DNA and that there's no real difference between DNA from one race of people. So whiteness become a construct. And if you really think about it, that white, 
Italians were not white. They, uh, Irish were not considered white. It used to be white Anglicans. And what happened was the, the group became so small that they started making it more inclusive for Italians and Irish and, uh, and these other Slavic countries so that the group could be bigger. It was, it's what you, they, they call it the Latin, the Latinification uh, of, of the Latinification of America, like where you have, uh, in South America, you have Latin people from all, all you know, all levels, and mixed in with the ba the natives of those of those areas. And then when you say, "Okay, these people are lighter," so these these are the white people, and these you just designate who the white people. I, and I say this: my prediction is the next people that are included into whiteness into the white because Donald Trump has has he's weaponized people's whiteness right taking everything from uh, from from poor and working white people and told them right. you're fine as long as you're not a nigger and they're going well if that's all I got I'm hold they're holding on to the to the but, but he's done more for black people than any other president this stuff okay. sir I mean he's done nothing look at my lie. African Americans over there look at my <laughs> look African at my American <laughs> it was singular it wasn't African Americans. It was like, look at my African American. American. Where's my African American? Where's my African oh, American? I, I, ownership. It's insane. But my my prediction is the next people that's allowed into that group would go, watch it be Japanese. Why well, still say Japanese are now considered white? That's slowly becoming because they're the the top mm. social social level of Asians. You're saying they're going to take the Japanese, but not the Chinese. They're going to keep out the Chinese. Well, yeah, I mean, we all watch Bruce Lee movies. They, <laughs> you don't remember? <laughs> you don't remember the Japanese coming in with the guy with the sign? Is there's no no dogs or Chinese allowed? Remember that was the <laughs> sign they put up, and then they let a dog walk by, like <laughs> just somebody oh, walked in with a dog. Watch it be the Japanese next. Okay. You're, you're, you have people who were never considered. I mean, the Italian Americans, the, the 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 Irish Americans, any of the Slavic Yugoslavians, all of them, they got included after the fact. So white as a construct in America has been evolving since the beginning of time. But, but you couldn't be. I mean, you ask any any Italian dude who has any any um heritage when they came to this country as they were considered they were they were considered black if you watch what's the movie um uh gangs in new york um where bill the butcher is throwing rocks at the immigrant irish coming over the boat those over over off the boat donkey motherfucker he's like screaming and throwing rocks at them so this is this has been going on forever and ever and it will continue to go on right well that yeah, that there was a brief period after 9-11 where Muslims were at the bottom. That lasted for a little bit. And then it goes right back to right back to black people. <laughs> right back to black people. I know, but the Jews are always shit. We're always shit. You have to come on. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. There's, that's always the case. Let me ask you something. Do you think that there's a level of 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 Jews that are are being assimilated into whiteness at all? Oh, I think they're, you know, these, these Jewish Trump supporters who, because of their, because of Israel and their money, they're fucking traitors. Right. You're a traitor. Who the fuck? You don't live in Israel. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, I mean, do you, so it's, it's financially. Yeah. But you know what? If he said half the shit that he says about African-Americans and uh, Latinos and, you know, women, you know. They would not be on his side. Yeah. But, yeah. So how do you how do they reconcile? How do you think they reconcile that? Oh, uh, you know, he's really good for Israel. Oh, you know, it's just about Israel. That's how they reconcile yeah, that's it. it. That's the that's only. It. There's not much that goes into it. It's just. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it becomes that, but and that, but then this whole thing, like now, it's a huge movement. There's so much change, which is kind of nice to see. 
But the other it makes, act, it makes me angry. Honestly, it makes me angry that the change now why it took so it, it long. Just, it's just like it's just like, first of all, when you see corporations are doing this, you know, they're doing it because the time yeah. is changing and it's about the dollar. Literally, if you four weeks ago, if you I know said that black, it took that. I know. If and black, then, if you said black lives matter four weeks ago, you have a fight. Right. Now Ka- Kaepernick everything. started this. Kaepernick yeah. basically started, and he still didn't even get a, a job yet. I know. You know, so it's it's really you know it's trendy. The, like it's it's, it's for business. Trendy. But now it's yeah. like I told you this yesterday. Like at, during the AIDS crisis, you know, I'm all my, you know, you, I'm everyone. I'm you. I'm sure you had friends. Um, I've talked about it. I've talked about it on the show plenty of times. Yeah. Ronald and Reagan remember, and the, Ronald Reagan and the AIDS crisis, and he didn't believe uh, horrible. that it was a it was, I, it was a gay disease yeah. until Rock Hudson got it. Right, and then they wouldn't even help him. But yeah. um, I remember these friends of mine, straight white, you know, Ivy League, just you know, whatever. They went to see Rent, and then they said to me, "I really understand." <laughs> what, what you fuck? went through. I'm like, what, what are you fuck? fucking talking? No, you don't. Did any of your friends fucking die? Shut yeah. the fuck up. You have no idea. Because yeah. you saw a fucking rent? Oh, my God. I get, I, the thing I get is they're like, you know, that George Floyd thing was fucked up. And I go to Philando <laughs> Castillo. <laughs> thing Hello? Was the Tamir Rice Trayvon wasn't Martin? a... The Trayvon Martin, the Brianna. Brianna. The, uh, the, uh, just on and on. I go, so all of that stuff was fine. You were fine with that, but you're not fine with this one because it took eight minutes. And because you it actually said he was, but yeah. they said he was dead after the first three to four minutes. So he just kneeled well, on a dead tell. guy. You can yeah. tell that. Yeah. So it is what it is. I hate that motherfucker, that evil piece of shit. <laughs> hey, I saw a video the other day where the other guy, one of the guys who was holding his legs down was in the. Um, oh, yeah, he oh, was, yeah, was went to Costco. Or and they, he was exactly. like, what do you think? What are you doing? You don't. We want you in jail. I mean, he was like, okay, whatever. Yeah, he goes, I, I need to get some supplies, and he was he was holding Oreos. He had an Oreo. Okay. Wouldn't that? Isn't that the cookie he would get to? Yes, the Fucking Oreo. Yeah. Oreo. Oh, white on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's right. crazy. Um, oh, that Judy, that how's the funny. relationship going after thirteen years? Because I know you used to talk about how she would just talk really calm because she was a therapist and drive you no, fucking nuts. So annoying. Uh, no, it's good. <laughs> she's I love her. We we laugh a lot. That's the key. Uh, yeah. We we have the same interests. Um, we're on the right side of history. I don't know. She's great. Yeah, J- Judy, what was uh, did you have like game growing up? Because we always ask everyone on the show what they were like, what they're dating was like when how'd they were single. You, how'd you bag that little cutie, Judy? Yeah. The cutie I with the booty. six feet at 13. I, no, I did not. No, None. not until I get to college. I fucked one guy. I had, se- I'm not a gold star. You know, gold star. Yeah. Was, yeah. Uh, I'm not gold star. because well, For I, those people I have, who don't know, explain the gold star gold thing. Gold star is if you're a homo, and you've never had <laughs> heterosexual sex. Now, my generation, I feel like we it was so awful to be gay that you tried to have to heterosex have one, yeah. to make sure because the alternative was hell. So I did try it. It was awful. I hated it. I felt like I was being assaulted. And it, I wasn't. I wasn't, but it felt so unnatural. Um, so, yeah, it wasn't. And then I... My ex, I was with her for 20 years. And then after we separated, that's I had a little action, a f- couple of years of action. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah. Bang. Yeah, baby. <laughs> how, how was it? How was it getting back into the game after like 20 oh years? Oh, my God. It was like a fucking bomb went off in my body. It was great. You know? <laughs> it's like, oh, thank God. Yeah. And what made you, well, you just were like a relationship person. So you kind of, I, I, yeah. And I, you know, I was so into my career. So yeah. like, that was my, I was just, that's all I thought about. That's all I worked for. And it was like, you know, your career does not bring it. No, you need to have a balanced life. Have a life. Yeah. You know? 
I get a lot of guys who, who I will consult with and they'll be like, you know, I'm trying to get my schooling together and I want to get my career. And I'm like, dude, you, you like, first of all, fucking somebody doesn't take that long. Right. You, you, can, you can still do your homework. You right. know, <laughs> exactly. you don't want you don't want to you don't want to spend your whole life right. tr doing homework and studying. And then later, because here's the other thing, people are becoming, you know, it's two things that I think people are always expected to be good at is relationships and sex. And the only way you get good at it is by practicing. You have to right. fuck people. Right. Like just, just like ping pong. And you it can't was so great. It was so great because I was also being told how great I was at it. So. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to handle a pussy. I'm telling you right now. I could tell. I could tell. Look at those hands. <laughs> Hi, baby. Fuck you. She got the Kawhi Leonard, yo. She got the glove. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, Raptors in five. <laughs> <laughs> All right, drink more tea. My bad, Clippers, Clippers, Clippers. Oh, uh, look at those. Look at those mitts. Right. She's a god LeBron. That's right, baby. <laughs> I'm a size twelve. I'm like a men's twelve foot. Men's eleven and a half, twelve. Yeah, damn, yeah. you were the same size as me, Judy. That's right, and I got a. I got some dick. phone posits in the crib. <laughs> she, got, she said I got huh? a bigger dick. She said I got Judy, a bigger you want dick. my Timberlands? We can share Jordans. <laughs> All right, I have so many sneakers. Ben made me throw out my sneakers. Oh no, uh, Ben. ben. I have a lot of retro sneakers, like Pro I could have got some new J's. Yeah. Judy, let me ask you this. So, you know, like, you, if you have a, an old married couple, what right? What the fuck, Dante? What? I don't know what the fuck happened. Oh, I went all the way back. Sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, that's better. Um, the, do you remember Jim David? You know Jim David, right? Oh, yeah, of course. So, I remember talking to Jim David. Like, he, uh, he's still with the same guy, right? Yeah. They were married for a long time. Long Jim, time, yeah. But Jim David used to always say, "Look, you know, like I'm, I'm an old gay man." He goes, "We're not wearing angel wings and and fucking in fuck swings." He goes, "Look, we don't even really have sex anymore. It becomes more like companionship." And you find a lot of marriages that's the same way, like you know, like regular, like like heterosexual marriage. I shouldn't say regular, but heterosexual marriages that. It's yeah, almost... but there's so many gay guys that add a third. Really? You know? mm. Yes, uh, so many. They're like they have like a third, and then you know, women can't do that because they're so jealous. But I, st I still am very attracted to Elisa. Right. So but, I'm lucky. Uh, but, but yeah. You, but I mean, but being a sexual being is something that's kind of personal. Where there's a lot of people that are in marriages that are in sexless marriages, heterosexual sexless marriages, and just not even pursuing other stuff, it becomes more about the 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 context of just people taking care of each other. Right, right, more right, right. So, you know what I mean? So they become that was roommates kind of a, instead of like a couple anymore. Right. I mean, it's still couples, but it's just not like, you know, it's just not sexual in well, that I mean, way. In the beginning, all you do is fuck. So then it's like, but you know, then you have kids and you have this and depression and fucking, you know, illness and stuff. But yeah, you still have to fuck. You have to fuck. Yeah. You got to stick it, the fingers Take in. it from it was, Judy Gold, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> you have to fuck. We should, we should have Judy doing those PSAs on the subway, those little, yeah. just right on the sides. You have to just fuck. Just remember, you have to fuck. You have to fuck. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but are I, we done yet? I want to eat. All right, how much, how much time we did? <laughs> we're about right. to wrap I'm so up. I'm fucking yeah. hungry. All right, we're gonna wrap up. Judy, thank you so <laughs> much for. I appreciate you. Well, I, do I get? Can you talk about my book? I better yes, come on. I, I'm gonna do that in a minute. Come on, God, tell me about the book. Tell me what you got going on. So my book comes out July 28th. It's called Yes, I Can Say That. When they come for the comedians, we're all in trouble. It's all about free speech from the perspective of a comedian. Um, oh. And it's really a love story of, of stand-up. It really show, is. Show the book again, please. Well, this is just the proof copy, but it's called Yes, I Can. Wait, how's that? Oh, yeah. Yes. That's good. That's good. Yes, I Can And it comes that. out when? July 28th. You can get it on my, on my website, judygold.com. And uh, wherever you buy books. Where's your social media? What's your social media? At Judy Gold, J-E-W. 
G Y G O L D like Jew Gold. <laughs> Joe Gold. <laughs> Jew. I got it. I got it. I got it. Judy, uh, anything else? Facebook is all the same or no? Um, that's just regular Judy Gold. All right. By the okay. way, you can, if you want to pick up Judy's book, you can go on Amazon and pre-order it now. Uh, the hardcover yes, thank version. Thank you, Harry. And no. I just, I just recorded the audio book. But it really is. If you're a comedy fan, it, there's a lot of history in it, and it also, you know. Don't silence comedians. Don't censor comedians. You cannot censor us. You real quick, Judy, real quick. What do you think of this old, the Jeff Ross thing? Uh, I am, I am just, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. You know, and I've talked to a couple people today that are like, oh my God, it was so long ago. And oh, when are we going to stop this? And I'm like, it's yeah. disturbing. I know. I mean, and Jeff's such a great guy. So it's like. I oh. always want to believe. I always want to believe the victim. Um, yeah. It's, but I feel like I don't know. It's you know the culture <laughs> is. I'm so, I, you know you talk about the culture, the culture, the culture. But you know this is my theory. So many guy comics were like misfits who couldn't get laid and sure. outcasts, and then they sure. become comics. And they have women all over them, and they don't know what the fuck to do. But, you know, 15 is 15. 15. Right. I'll tell you something that there was the, um, so I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a frat boy, right? I'm an Omega sci-fi. And one of the, one of my frat brothers who actually pledged in the same, uh, the same chapter as mine was one of the guys that pulled those kids out of the car and oh, tased sure. the girl um, in Atlanta. You remember that, the, 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 oh, those that uh, fucking asshole. They were doing nothing. Right. So he is. So I had I had a lot of my frat brothers. They were like, well, let's you know, we want to chip in for the legal fees. And, stuff. and I was like, look, dude, I'm a I'm a I'm a black guy before I'm a fraternal member. Like, I, right. I don't understand how we how do we reconcile that? And so, I mean, I, I'm saying that to say, I mean, you know, Jeff, Jeff's always been nice to me and he's always been, a, but like you said, 15 is 15 and it's fucked up. You know, if that was, if that's the case, then you gotta, you know, just like I, I can't go with my fraternal brothers and go, Oh, well, it's my fraternal brother. We're going to, I gotta, I gotta, yeah. you gotta be righteous about what it is, regardless of what your personal feeling is. Right. Because the bottom line with this is, Usually when somebody is doing doing the young shit, it's usually compulsive. Do you know what I mean? It's not a like the thing with Bill Cosby. It was his thing was compulsive. It was. He oh, that's a, beyond. He's a predator. Sick fuck. But I mean, so is yeah. the guy who fucks a 15 year old. Oh, and just my because, God. Yes. And, and yes. just because we He's know him. And, yeah. Yeah. But, just you know, because. there's also this other level of like. Why is she saying it now? Because you get to a certain age where you go, oh my God. What the I fuck can't was I doing? I can't believe that happened. I'm so yeah. fucked up right now. Yeah. And, you know, it takes a while. People deal with their demons at different times. But her father was complicit in it, which was horrible. It's, yeah. You know, the girl's father. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you got to know better. You got to know better that, no. But and, then, and then you're looking at you're looking at and then when you t when she talks the stuff she talks about, like the like it's real like she's naming names and the, I remember when those things would happen the roast and the this and the that and the cats and and Steinbergs and I mean it's so detailed and she's got Polaroids oh, I know. so it's like you, you but know, it's also like uh, one one comic said to me you know I remember that we used to have these jokes that there's no girl too young for him, you know? And I was uh -huh. like, it's sad. It's just yeah. sad. Yeah. Cause it's a sickness more than anything. I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't mean to get back on it. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, All Harry, right, you're talk okay. to me. I talk love to me. you. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, tell me, give me your credits and everything. Uh, I mean, you can check out uh, my website. I hate comedy.com. That's where all my information is. Uh, everything. We do catalyst wrestling every Monday night. There's new episodes. And also check out the Man School 202 YouTube page. That's where all our information, all the videos of these full episodes, clips, classic episodes, it's all going to be up there. Whatever happens, it's going down on the uh, Man School 202 YouTube page. So like, subscribe, comment. We really appreciate it. Andre, talk to me. 
Yo, Andre D. Thompson on everything, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Between Spots Podcast. Hit me up. Um, Wait, everything- I have my podcast. My podcast. Kill me yes. now. Kill what me. is it? I did- it's the Kill same one or no? It's the yeah. same one or no? I, I want to do it again. Let me do it no, again. No, I don't like you. I don't like you. I haven't <laughs> had one podcast yet. All right. Okay. Um... Everything with me, uh, Instagram, the Dante Nero, everything else, Dante Nero, Dante Nero.com. If you want to book some time with me in consultations, just go Dante Nero.com and click on consult and um, I'll call you up and we'll figure it out. Um, GYBB, get your balls back. Uh, WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. Yo, I love y'all. Thank you so much, Judy. I, I love you. To you de- I love you to death. You're the best. I miss you. Bye, and guys. I'll see Bye. you soon. Bye bye. Bye.